for our Cyberpunk game on Saturday, I've made three cyber decks, which are basically just tablets in 3D printed cases with carrying straps just to make them easier. Now, the way the game is structured, you should all get a turn at the different style of game. So I'm going to try and show them all at once. Now, I'll probably fail because it's hard to play three games at once, but you'll get the vague idea. There are three icons on the screen. Mostly you'll use the one, the green one, to hack. Um, at one point, somebody will end up using the thing called Motion Eye to um, hack some CCTV and delete the footage. And there might be video calls in the game, depending on from like NPCs, depending on how the coverage is and how things work. So I'll quickly start up the little hacking portals. Now, they all look kind of the same because I've not done a lot of work on the graphics, but fundamentally, you've got ice which is trying to throw people out and disconnect them. We've got the uplink, where you're trying to turn the uplink on to steal some stuff. And you've got a database where you're deleting things. Now, the way the game works is the ice is whack-a-mole. So these four buttons here, anytime one of them goes orange or red, push it to make it go away. If they all go orange or red, then the other players lose. But not you, you're still connected and we can go again. Um, if you're playing the uplink player, you're playing Simon. So you've got four colours, red, green, yellow, blue, and it will play you a code, and you need to play it back to it. And eventually, when you've done enough sequences of playing it back, the uplink will go live, and the data can be interfered with. And then the third one is actually the data you're messing with. So this is a consignment of stuff, which we'll find out about in the game. And you can set it up to delete, but it won't delete until the uplink goes live. So I'm going to try and play a game of this, and we'll see how it goes. And it requires you to cooperate. So first thing I do is turn the uplink on. So some ice has started already. And then I've got to try and play back the sequence on the middle one. So it's blue, green. Let's try and queue some of these up for deletion. Now, nothing will happen with those deletions. And the ump goes green, so I can now cancel that. Now, what should happen now? In a few seconds, all this data should start disappearing from this tablet, he says. There we go. So the red stuff that's queued up to get deleted starts to disappear. Um, and that's that. Now, once you've kind of won this hacking game, this one stops bothering you. So you've kind of got in and it's not there. Now, I might up change the code to make it slightly harder because I just did the whole thing on my own. And if, I, if we click these, we can get rid of the last couple. I'll probably up the difficulty on site when I demonstrate it to people. But there you go. You get the idea. Now, if you fail, you can reboot it all. So there's like a, it's like a little web interface with tabs. And what you can do is there's a reboot button and if you hold down the reboot button on them they will all reboot the system and it'll all go back to zero and you can start again and you've got infinite retries with that because you don't want the game to be frustrating you just want it to be a bit of fun during the game you can also if you're on this one to do with the uplink because there's an actual puzzle there's some stuff where you can turn lights off and on and fiddle around with it but that's 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 a good primer of what you need to do in lieu of any written instructions